Today, we're going to take a closer look at some of the best pre-built gaming PCs currently available on the market for less than $800. For this video, we hand-selected the three absolute best but slightly different PCs based on these criteria. Value for money, gaming performance, quality and reliability, cooling, and aesthetics. Links for all the PCs featured in this video will be in the description box below. Number 3. MXZ Gaming PC This pre-built sports excellent hardware for its price, but at the same time, it cuts corners on some essential features. Performance-wise, it's one of the best in this price range, but it's not exactly what we would call a strong recommendation overall. Let's start with design and build quality. Design is definitely a strong feature of this PC, with a lot of RGB and gamer-centric aesthetics, but the chassis feels a bit flimsy. It's primarily built using thin plastic, and instead of a tempered glass side window, it uses a cheap acrylic panel. This leads to a noticeably worse build quality compared to the two other PCs featured in this video, and has us questioning the longevity of this rig. And while the PC is pretty quiet, even under heavier loads, the airflow is not optimal due to the sealed front panel, which will lead to higher temperatures during extended gaming sessions. On the brighter side, the cooling system equipped here is one of the best we've seen in this price range. The PC comes equipped with a total of six 120mm fans, all of which feature customizable RGB LEDs. However, they have to work harder to keep everything cool due to the worse airflow of the chassis. Now, the hardware included is the sole reason why we decided to feature this PC in this video. It features probably the best CPU and GPU combo, coming in with an Intel Core i3-13100F CPU and an NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super Graphics card. In addition to that, you get 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and a fast 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. The CPU, while only quad-core, is probably the best you'll see in the sub $800 category. It's more efficient and performs better than older 6-core chips. Plus, it's more forward compatible, with support for the newer DDR5 RAM if you decide to upgrade later on. The GPU is an older model, but it's a cost-efficient video card that offers great performance for 1080p gameplay. It'll run the majority of older and popular titles with smooth frame rates, and will only fall short of new, graphically demanding titles. In summary, this gaming PC from MXC is a bit of a mixed bag. It offers impressive performance for a very affordable price, but the weaker build quality, limited airflow, and lack of included peripherals make it hard to fully recommend. With the two other PCs featured in this video being marginally better, we'd only recommend this one if you can find it on a sale for around $100 to $150 cheaper. Number 2. CyberPower PC G104 The CyberPower PC G104 is a hidden gem in this price range and not far from the value of the Skytech Kronos Mini, our number one selection. Compared to other $800 pre-built PCs, it features one of the best component sets, a good-looking case, and excellent cooling out of the box. First and foremost, the chassis not only looks good, but it's also highly functional and durable. It features not one, but two tempered glass panels, with one on the side and one in the front. Otherwise, the case is mostly plastic on the inside, but doesn't give off a cheap or flimsy vibe and should last you for quite some time. What we like about the case, apart from the aesthetics and quality, is the fact that the front panel isn't completely sealed, leading to much better airflow. Meshed PC cases will almost always be best for airflow, but thermals don't seem to be a problem whatsoever with this one. The reason for that is mainly the pre-installed cooling system. The PC has a total of six 120mm RGB fans, with three intake fans in the front and three exhaust fans at the top and rear of the case. With 1500 max RPM and 24 decibel maximum noise level, they do a good job of keeping the PC cool while staying relatively quiet. In terms of components, you do get a reasonable amount of power out of the gate, with a Hexacore Intel i5-10400F processor and 16 gigs of RAM operating at 3200 MHz. For the budget, it's a pretty reasonable level of performance, and is going to support just about any basic operation you're looking to run on this machine. For the GPU, you get an NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super, which is the second best graphics card in this price range, right behind the RTX 3050. It's an older model, but still offers enough power to run the majority of popular and older games with smooth FPS, with the exception of newer, graphically demanding titles. What we see as a bigger drawback is the lack of bundle peripherals. A big percentage of people shopping in this budget range will be new folks or gamers switching from consoles, so it's surprising to see none here. 
To be fair, it's a fairly cheap fix, but it's always nice to have an extra keyboard and mouse at your disposal. Nonetheless, the CyberPower PC G104 still remains our top recommendation for gamers on a very limited budget. Despite the lack of peripherals, you get a functional, well-performing PC with aesthetics to match. Number 1. Skytech Kronos Mini When looking at gaming PCs in the sub-$800 price category, the Skytech Kronos Mini is hands down the best option on the market. It dominates the competition in all aspects, including performance per dollar, build quality, functionality, and even aesthetics. For starters, this gaming PC offers great cooling, which is where you'll see other PCs in this price category cut corners. It comes with three quality 120mm RGB fans pre-installed, with two in the front and one in the back of the case, and a quality air CPU cooler. Plus, it uses a ton of mesh paneling to augment the work the three fans will do to keep everything cool. Furthermore, the Skytech Kronos is a great example of how a quality pre-built PC should look. The case is on the smaller side, but very sturdy and functional, making it easy to upgrade and swap out components. Besides that, it comes with a full-size tempered glass side panel and built-in RGB, scoring high marks in aesthetics as well. In terms of hardware, this PC has everything you need to game comfortably at 1080p, which is rarely the case with $800 gaming PCs. It comes equipped with an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 processor, which is an older chip but still great for the price point, and an RTX 3050, the best graphics card you'll see at this price point. In addition to that, there's a full 16GB of DDR4 RAM operating at 3200MHz, which is again the best in this price range, and a fast 500GB NVMe drive. That'll probably need to get upgraded depending on your gaming library. This PC doesn't disappoint, even when it gets to the PSU, coming in with a 600W 80 plus gold power supply, with many other PCs shipping with cheaper and less efficient 80 plus bronze or white units. In terms of gaming performance, this PC goes neck and neck with more expensive PCs, providing a fantastic 1080p performance in the majority of popular titles. It's perfect for games like Fortnite, Minecraft, Call of Duty, Overwatch, League of Legends, CSGO, and other similar or less graphically demanding games. Plus, it's capable of some light video editing, but don't expect much. That's not what this PC was built for. In addition to the great performance, the Kronos Mini also ships with a gaming mouse and keyboard, making this the perfect bundle for first-time buyers. You'll get a full-sized wired mechanical keyboard and a solid wired mouse, both of which are above average compared to what we've seen other pre-built PCs ship with. All things considered, the Skytech Kronos Mini is easily our number one recommendation for gamers with an $800 budget. The paradox of budget pre-builds is that the less you pay for them, the more it can feel like you wasted your money. This PC is a massive outlier from that trend. The price feels like a total bargain, and the specs are balanced perfectly to exceed your expectations. These were the top three gaming PCs currently available on the market for less than $800. Be sure to check out the description and find the most up-to-date prices of these PCs. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you didn't, feel free to hit the dislike button as well. See you soon!